Hi, I'm Himakta Shanti. I'm going to explain you about a Thiel index for aggregation of software metric values. And the authors are Alexander Serebrenik and Mark Van Den Brand. Alexander Serebrenik was a professor in Eindhoven University of Technologies, which is located in Netherlands. And uh, he he's interested in human aspects of software engineering, social software engineering, and software evolution. Here, Mark Van Den Brand was a professor in the same university uh, of uh, Alexander, that is in Hoven University of Technologies in Netherlands, and he is interested in software engineering, uh, compilers, and programming languages. And this is the journal. Uh, coming to the research questions, uh, there is a what amount of uh, inequality can be explained by the uh, by partitioning into groups, for example. Uh, I mean, what is the amount of inequality in programming sizes that can be explained uh, in different programming languages? And how does uh, the inequality between the groups is evolved with the time? These are the research questions. Coming to the motivation part, uh, Thiel index is a well-known econometric measure of inequalities which is used in this method and uh, we offer a novel of method for uh, aggregating the software metrics uh, from individual articrafts for example like methods, classes and packages to the macro level uh, of uh, complete software system like Thiel index can be used to investigate the various classification of artifacts such as uh, development technologies and development teams or uh, uh, like inequality of the metric values which are measured and we have found that the index uh, is a related concept that that can help us and understand us and it makes us understand how the software systems are organized and evolved as well as the in where inequality comes from. Uh, introduction to Thiel index. Here uh, the Thiel index is a measure of inequalities uh, which is uh, introduced by a Dutch stat statistician called Henry Thiel. Uh, this is the given uh, univariate distribution function which is also known as the first Thiel index it is defined as a first Thiel index, which is X is subset of R. And uh, this is also defined as a second Thiel index, like uh, logarithmic deviation, where here the this is called as a generalized entropy, which is also defined as a both Thiel index and uh, integration of uh, MDL can be seen as a limiting forms uh, of the generalized entropy measures. So uh, the Thiel index is also always known as a non-negative uh, index where the Thiel index can be uh, normalized. Coming to the decomposability part, uh, we uh, these generalized entropy measures is uh, are the only inequality measures where we can see that uh, decomposability together in common requirements we have a pigot dalton principle like inequality when inequality increases like when money is transferred from poorer person to the richer one uh, the scale uh, will be the invariance and because of this uh, this community uh, the community is frequently frequently divided into uh, two groups which is based on the factors like such as educational attainment gender or ethnicity uh, these are all interested in the investigating of inequality between these categories so this is the graph uh, of the thiel index and this graph is about the uh, asymptotic behavior uh, for the x-axis it is presented in the logarithmic scale and then uh, these are the asymptor asymptotes yeah uh, coming to the Thiel index and software metrics the Thiel index is an aggregation of the software metrics whereas uh, it is also a lift uh, that can be lifted and 
here there are three types of uh, software metrics which is uh, non negative values asymptotic behavior and then a uh, multiple multiplicative scale invariance and the limit extends to uh, x of n tends to 0 plus and ideal of x1 and so on to xn is equal to 1 by n sigma of uh, n minus 1 i equal to 1. These are comes under non-negative values. Here the non-negative values in the sense uh, taking a zero values uh, of an empty file and then uh, they belong to the main sequence and the way it should be de defined and depends upon the particular meaning of uh, x power n being zero. So um, by asymptotic behavior, uh, asymptotic behaviors are all the fixed values. So this will be increased x power n tends to infinity. So this, uh, this will be in increased uh, asymptotically and coming to the um, experimental evaluation and the experimental evaluation of the thiel index i thiel and thiel share s and this graph uh, is on the distribution of thiel index values for lenny's lepocrutic and positively skewed and here uh, there are two types of experiments which we can uh, differentiate like uh, there are thiel index uh, share of lenny and then uh, we have a thiel uh, and this graph is depends upon the distribution of thiel share values for Lenny is le lepocrutic and positively skewed and uh, the study of the distribution of thiel index and thiel share is uh, we have to consider that uh, the recent stable release for Debian. Debian is nothing but a software and for each code uh, for each one source code uh, if we use the SLOC count then we have to be calculated the number of uh, source lines of the code like for example if if we have a 1 2 5 3 6 packages of uh, SLOC then the values are aggregated by using the thiel index and thiel share mm, by seeing this uh, by seeing this thiel index and thiel share graphs we know that uh, the highest peak is observed in uh, thiel index and then it is corresponding uh, to the package containing in one file and the packages on the both thiel uh, and uh, share is, is equal to zero by explaining the small peak values in thiel share so by seeing this graph so we can know that uh, the thiel index is a uh, is a, had a more graph uh, by having a time. So my, now looking at to the evaluation of ithyl and S here ithyl in the sense uh, thiel index and S in the sense uh, thiel share. Uh, now we look uh, at how the thiel index and thiel share have changed throughout that time. Uh, in order to do so, uh, we look at uh, 16 different versions of AD, DMPy even and an open source ERP system. Uh, so we we estimated that the amount of the software uh, source line code SLOC for each file and each version and then aggregated uh, to uh, find these results using the ITIL and S. The result of this experiment shows the uh, number of fascinating information about uh, the evaluation of IDM pair and this can be seen in the both sides. Now comparing the uh, different inequalities and uh, this is the chart uh, where we can see the percentage of inequality between the files and, uh, and explained by the different partitions. Here R package, R section, R repository and uh, uh, R maintenance are, are all explained in the same way. But uh, this is in the case for the implementation of languages. Uh, and because of the packages, they often include the files 
which is uh, written in the variety programming languages and uh, numerous there are numerous packages which may contain files uh, written in the same language also but uh, by looking into the table now we can conclude that uh, there is a, a best reason in disparity of file size uh, this can be in, uh, this can be decreasing in inequality that is if we distribute a functional distribute functionality among the units is uh, more equitable in manner so the cross cross package size criteria should be established and developer should uh, should be encouraged and follow them so conclusion we proposed a new technique uh, for aggregating the software metric values which is based on the thiel index and uh, thiel share here ITIL is well known as an econometrics and inequality measures uh, in this case study uh, which is a uh, thiel index is not a metric specific and but it may be used to aggregate the values uh, and the thiel index is decomposable so it can be uh, used not only to quantify but also explain the inequality future work coming to the future work uh, we are considering the both theoretical and practical studies in theoretical studies uh, the thiel index has uh, access and maintainable to the software systems and coming to the practical studies uh, they are undertaken uh, collaboration in the industries uh, for co developed uh, software systems so we, uh, we plan to incorporate uh, into the practical investigations to make them easier. This is the reference of the paper. Thank you.